I mean, it was amazing. <laughs> what was it? It was it was amazing. You know, I've been obviously waiting my time, waiting my turn. You know, learning, growing behind everybody, and it's, it was a beautiful day. I tell you that much. It felt I felt like a kid again, just flying around, getting to the ball. And it was amazing. And to see so many of your teammates too, who maybe didn't have that experience, get out there. What what was that like, kind of? Kind of as a group getting that, that experience it was, it's a huge growing point you know to, to touch the field for the first time you know you've been playing with your guys at practice you know kind of doing scrimmages here and there to actually touch the field in a game it's a huge growing point so for everybody who got in everybody just elevated that that confidence it just raises so it's a beautiful thing once again <laughs> important to raise that confidence before Pac-12 play because absolutely all day long it is absolutely vital to raise that confidence before Pac-12 play because now that season's over one through three now it's time for Pac-12 play and now it's the new season we're ready and for the for the defense as a whole, how are you feeling about the readiness to, to start the oh, first play? Oh, yeah, we're ready. I mean, our coaches have been harping on a speed to power, play fast, play physical, and, I mean, it's really in our head. We're ready. We're ready. You had Easton next to mm -hmm. uh, Mm -hmm. How about his performance? Ooh, hey, freshman, man. Freshman and he's smart. Probably one of the smartest freshmen I've ever been around in my life, truthfully. I mean, he, he plays fast. He's always to the ball. It was, it was a pleasure to be with him. And for the future, Beaver football, be excited about those young guys, for sure, 100%. One thing you've been able to learn from those guys in front of you? Oh, yeah. I mean, just detail, detail, detail. Everything is about precision. How tight can you come in, in your alignment when you're when you're blitzing or your pass drop or when you're when you're getting to the ball? What are your angles like? I mean, there's there's countless amounts of things that I've learned from the guys above me that I can put into my game and elevate my game. Mm -hmm. Last week, obviously, Idaho did not score a point. Mm -hmm. How do you improve off that on defense? I mean, does it get much better than not allowing your team to score? I mean, it just gets better and better each week, you know, because there were still mistakes. It wasn't a perfect game. So now we're working towards perfection. Yes, there were zero points, but there's always something we can get better on and elevate in, and that's all we're doing. We're, we're working to be the best us every week, and that's what we're doing now. When you guys watch tape, what are a couple things that you are working on going into USC? Oh, we're just, I mean, same thing, just playing our game, you know, playing physical, continuing to be fast, continue to ex execute the defense to precision and just playing fast. We're just playing our game, continue to do the same things. For the team to go 3-1, mm -hmm. you guys win this week, I know it's 1-0 mm -hmm. every week, yep. but if you finish September 3-1, what does that mean for this group as you go into the now nitty-gritty of Pac-12 mm -hmm. play? Man, it just keeps building that confidence. We just keep climbing, keep climbing, keep climbing, because we have a goal. We can see it at the end, but obviously here it's 1-0 every week. So that's, that's what our goal is this week, 1-0.